We went to Fiji for the first time on the way to London, actually, and the band was like pretty relaxed about it, thought it was just really going to be more of a stopover than anything else. I did try to tell them that um, one of our tracks had been number one over there for actually the whole of 99. The penny started to drop at the airport because like nobody would leave the band alone, everybody wanted autographs, took us over to the red lane, didn't want to let us through, all kinds of crazy stuff started to happen. When we got to the hotel room, we switched on the TV and it was like, Tevaka's in town. Instead of the president is here, it was like, Tevaka was here. We opened up the newspaper, double page spread. The tickets sold out, people couldn't get in. It was wild, people were queuing from, 10 o'clock in the morning. So the first concert, the band goes on stage and we, we had been warned. The band had been warned you had to do pate pate twice or there'd be a riot. And the band had gone, oh yeah, sure, you know. Yeah, we'll do it twice if we feel like it. Well, they played it twice every night that we were in Fiji. Tavaka goes on stage. You can't hear a thing. Everybody's screaming their head off. It was like the Beatles have just hit Auckland or something. And then Pate Pate comes on. People got on each other's shoulders, they walked on each other's heads, and they got onto the stage. One of the dancers nearly got pulled off stage by the crowd, and security, you know, eventually got them off, but it, it was just wild. It, afterwards, people were just busting into the... Like, the security couldn't stop them. There was people coming in, they had gifts for the band, they wanted pieces of the band. Like, we lost costume pieces. The second concert was sold out. In the end, they actually had to put on a third concert in Suva because people were, like, upset, like, seriously upset. And the police were upset, too, because they couldn't get in. They got really upset. So we had to put on an extra concert, which was sold out in, like, an hour or something ridiculous. 